Oh, he runs a clothing company for larger men and women based in Scunthorpe. She is one of the country's most famous women, a former model turned TV presenter who became a mum and a passionate campaigner against online abuse. Ben Pearson and Katie Price were brought together by Katie's son Harvey. More about that in just a moment. But first, Joe Mako has Ben's story, which sees him go from homelessness to securing a deal on the TV programme Dragon's Den. It takes a great business idea and some bravery to enter the Dragon's Den. But Ben Pearson from Scunthorpe gained a significant investment. All the money, 150,000, but I want 35%. I'd love to accept your offer. That money and the expertise of fashion entrepreneur Tuka Suleiman is now helping Ben build his business, selling plus-size clothing. So it together. So. He employs more than 20 people operating from his warehouse in Scunthorpe, and the 30-year-old success is even more remarkable because he's overcome significant challenges. I've been in care homes from a very young age. I was diagnosed with autism, yet no one really seemed to understand what autism was or meant. It was just so, so difficult to get across how I'm feeling and the needs that I required. You know, I, I struggled with lighting, I struggled with taste, sound. It was all very overwhelming and difficult for me, yet people only saw the reaction that it got and not the reason why. On leaving the care system, Ben became homeless, relying on food banks and charity. Mental health issues caused him to gain significant weight. His need to find clothing that fitted, a determination to work and save, and financial help from his grandparents all came together. I will speak directly, and I begged, borrowed and stealed to get a roof over my head, to get shelter, to then start to come on the ladder of business. My family have been business, so I've had it in my genes, which has been a great um, boost forward. But this is more than business. He's raising awareness of autism and has high profile supporters in Katie Price and her son Harvey. Harv, I love your tracksuit. His up there brand is also helping their campaign for Harvey's Law, a petition to stop online trolling. Of course, Ben wants to continue to expand his business, but he says he also wants to make a difference. Money is just material. We can't take it with us. But what we can do is we can help the generations that come forward after us. So I really want to leave a legacy, which is I've made a difference to people and autistic lives. Well, I'm delighted to say that uh, Ben Pearson and Katie Price are joining us on the programme now. Uh, good evening to you both. Uh, ben, first of all, I mean, this is a great success story. Just tell me how hard it was finding clothes and shopping uh, when you were younger. Was it a real ordeal? Do you know what? It certainly was. It was an absolute nightmare. Been nearly 30 stone, been on the high street and couldn't find anything fashionable to wear. Oh, it was an absolute nightmare, Peter. And I assume, Katie, it was a nightmare for you as well, get, getting clothes for Harvey. Do you know what? When Harvey was young, if there's anyone out there who's got a child who's born with, like, a disability or something, that like Harvey, I used to have to make his own clothes. And as he got older, I was introduced to Ben. And what's so amazing about Ben, he's, his backstory, his autism and stuff, and he was a larger size, like Harvey, lost weight and that. And then he made this big, like, you know, he started off slow with this um, clothing industry called Up Here and stuff. And it's so fashionable and amazing, and it fitted right with Harvey, and that's all what Harvey wears. I think people have got to remember, like, Har um, Ben's got a backstory, Harvey's got a backstory, and they match absolutely yeah. perfect. Because I couldn't continue to keep making clothes for Harvey, because when he was, like, six, he'd been, like, 11 and 12-year-old well. size clothing around the waist, and I had to make him clothes, because obviously the legs were too long. And meeting Ben has been amazing. I, I can't visualise you sitting there with, uh, with, with a sewing machine making clothes. I must be honest, but uh, probably you did. <laughs> <laughs> but let me tell you something. If you've watched My Mucky Mansion, 
You've seen that I do designs to my house, but I have actually got three sewing machines. Right. Because like really sickly, well, I, for just, real, I I've, did make clothes for half. I've, I've just really dropped myself right in it, haven't I? I've just dropped myself right in it and uh, uh, that, that I didn't know that. Now, listen, Kate, to Kate's, me... Kate's an absolute master of anything she wants to do. Literally, she can turn her hand to anything. And Harv, he loves me, Harv does. You know, we get on like a real house oh, yeah. on fire. Well, that's good. Let me just ask you this to be serious. I mean, Katie, it's appalling that people troll and abuse others online. It's awful. But why, do, why does it go on? Talking about the trolling, like Ben understands it as well. And Ben supported us, which is why we do the Harvey's Law and he does the T-shirts. Obviously, Ben's been through it with uh, the autistic thing. Growing up with police not realising that he's, he's autistic, so obviously when he's in trouble for anything, you know, they arrest him and stuff, but they don't understand what he's gone through. So obviously uh, anyone with autism, if you react to anything, um, you're going to kick off in a different way to a person who hasn't got autism. Okay. And well, then people treat you different. Well, it is a, a great success story. Uh, well done to you, uh, to you both. And Ben, you're going to be a millionaire or maybe you are a millionaire already. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's the law of attraction. You know, it's, it's funny how, how life works out. And, um, you know, I used to get trolled by carers' parents and, um, you know, things like this. Um, carers' families used to troll me online. And Kate and I, you know, it was literally just a problem with clothing. But the, the synergies that we have, you know, are just absolute next level. Well, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, you're an enormous fan of Katie. Listen, it's great to have you both on the programme. Katie, you've cheered me up enormously this afternoon. You're, uh, you're great, uh, great fun. Thank you very much indeed to have you on the programme. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, take care. Cheers. <laughs> A serious subject. Uh, we salute Ben for his uh, success and uh, Katie, of course, the first time I've interviewed anybody uh, in bed. Right now, let's have a reminder of uh, our main story tonight. 